So these are the microgreens. Antichem, absolutely detest coriander, but I can tell you, this tastes unbelievable. I know the sunlight's against me at the minute, so I can't help that. Um, that's all potatoes. And we've actually got purple potatoes in there. More microgreens, doing absolutely amazingly well. And all that you can see there is all strawberries. Um, I think that one directly in front there is some of the Colossus, uh, which means it'd be dawn size, as we would say at home, uh, sprouting peas. So they're in soaking for the moment. Uh, pink blueberries. Um, well, sincere thanks to the lovely Kim Martell and also these Logan berries. Got those. Loads of sweet pea. We have no idea what that is. Um, we found it growing, so we've planted it anyway. And um, these are chilies. Some more chilies. And as far as you can see, you'll laugh, I know, but these are all, every one of these, uh, not in the line, which is the way I like it. Uh, but these are all rhubarb plants. So the idea is that once they, they get big enough, then they'll be planted out. Sell some of them on, but I'd rather sell them on as really big, robust, healthy plants. That's my sole fig tree, but I've got nine more coming in. And then the other side here, if I can see them, because I really struggle to find them. There we are, because it's so small at the minute, and I'm also looking into the sun. These are my aloe vera. So I'm really pleased about these. I think these will do really, really well. And once they get to about a, you know, a meter, meter and a half tall, then we can actually harvest them, make soap with them. You can make a drink with them. It's got so many really healing properties. But as you can see, the place is huge, enormous.